yeah, now go ahead and enter the Catalon platform credential, whatever username and uh, email you created account with, right? Yes. And uh, password. Click sign in. Yep. <clears throat> so this is the first step for the once as soon as you open the software, right? This is uh, this will prompt you. Now what you need to do is because we created that Arflon project, right? So now yep. we need to connect to the project. So that's where you're gonna click on open project, and it should prompt you. Uh, why it's not prompting you? Okay, click cancel here. Okay, uh, let's see, where, where did you go? Wait, 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 a uh, clone Git project. Click on clone Git project. Right. Okay. Yeah, all right. So you need to supply that uh, repository URL that you have. Okay. Oh, I'm going to save it. Um, uh, GitHub. Okay. Yeah, you can name it whatever you want. Um, yeah. So oh, this is the URL. Oh, this is token, right? Oh, no, no, the URL, you need to have the URL, uh, okay. which you inputted in the project, right? So, so if you go to the Catalon, no, no, no. So go to the Catalon. You're not going to be able to find it again. And go to your project. Uh, where is your project? Where is your project? Did you log in here? Yes. Go to the dashboard. Dashboard. Right yep. Right and right see here. the Arflon, Arflon at the top, top left. Yep, just click yep. there. Yep, click there and say uh, select our flown from there or view all projects. Yeah. We have to go to the settings and find it. No, no, no. Um, so go to the view all projects. Go, go back to the our flown, click again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. View all projects, view all projects. Yes. Yep. And it will open uh, all the listing of the projects. Okay, now on the three dots here that you see on the Arflown side, on the right side, three dots, uh, above, above, yeah. Just click on there uh, and go to settings. Okay, and go to the script repositories, second tab. General and script repositories. In our flown git, click on it. Okay, that's the URL you want. Yeah, that's the one you want to copy. All right, and uh, go back to your local, yeah, studio. Yep. And you want to put it there. All right, okay. now the credential would be whatever your username password is for the GitHub. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, oh, so. Yeah, whatever credential you have, it's uh, it's fine. Can you see this this is screen? I don't know what is this. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Whatever you can type in, if you remember credential, just type it in. No, no, no. I don't can need you to see. see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. Yep. So I'm gonna close this out. Whatever this. Yeah, yeah. Screen. Close it out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Okay. So. Marshall, can I share my screen? Uh, give, give me a second, okay? Uh, okay. Let me okay. let us just finish this one. Okay. And whatever password you have, and click on Save Authentication so that it will be stored. Okay. Right. So okay. So it fetch your main branch and project and source thing. Yep. Uh, click next. Click next. It will create a file on your directory. Okay. Uh, local directory so that next time you don't have to do all this thing you can just open the file next time all right click finish okay it's loading oh, it's should loading. be loading yeah should be taking some time okay yeah there you go So you, you let let's see. Once it completes loading, we'll see. Yep. 
Yep, there you go. So you see the test.txt file that you created on the website, GitHub? It's showing up there as part of the project, oh, right? Okay. So it fetch all the code and uh, put it over here. So if you change anything here, and you can yes. push all the code into repository, okay? Uh, later on, uh, all the test cases that you can write here, you can publish okay. there. And then uh, anybody else who has access to your GitHub, they can download those those things. So that's how that generally developers will do it. Okay. Put all the code in repository, kind of like Azure DevOps has a repository, right? So it's yeah. a GitHub is another one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. gotcha. So, it's, yep. so this is, so how about how about the Catalan? Catalan is a is a similar to similar to Azure it, DevOps. It, no, no, no. This is a test automation tool. So we'll talk on uh, Saturday. Oh, automation, automation. Automation. Okay. You can right. write the automation test in Catalan Studio. Oh, okay, okay. Makes sense. Okay. Yes. So, but I think your machine is configured properly. So you can close out. And if you log, log off, if you want to log off, you, you can uh, drop out as well. Okay. All right. Please stop okay. sharing. Yeah. Harshal, just a quick, quick question. Um, like yep. when I, I'm in the G GitHub, so basically that email address would be again the Gmail, right? My no, GitHub. Yeah, yeah. Same. Put the same email so that it's easier to remember, right? Okay. Because everything uh, would be same. So. Yeah. Okay. And the same. Okay. Because yeah. that where there you're entering your intellex gmail dot com. So just just got. It's the same email. I'm supplying same email for both okay. GitHub as well as okay. uh, Catalan. So. Okay. Make sure you remember the credential for GitHub as well, right? Okay. Because you're gonna sure. need it. So 